Taking a live look over the Inner Harbor downtown and uh, Federal Hill, where the flag is see, up in the breeze quite a bit right now, so there is a little bit of wind out there. Yeah, the colors are gone, Derek. We're headed yeah. into winter here. Yeah, the grayness of winter is headed our way. And, you know, today uh, we saw some peaks of sunshine from time to time. I think we'll see a little more tomorrow, and then we have more rain on the way here for the middle part of the week. So I hope you were able to enjoy the last bit of the Thanksgiving holiday. Had a little bit of rain to close things out yesterday, but after some fog last night, we did see. Skies try to clear up a little bit here for today, but it looks like those skies will start to clear out later on tonight. We are rain free across our area right now. Temperatures holding at 52 in Baltimore, 52 for Bel Air, 51 out towards uh, uh, Rock Hall and Easton in the lower 50s as well. Cambridge and Easton down in the lower 50s. Westminster at 52 with a northwest wind now at about 5 to 15 miles an hour. These winds will continue here through this evening. They should calm down some later on tonight, but still out of the northwest at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Again, if you're going to be out and about this evening, make sure you dress appropriately because it will be getting chilly, particularly later on tonight. I do think though we'll stay into the low 40s even through late tonight because it's going to take a little while for the clouds to gradually clear out, but they will after midnight tonight with a little bit more sunshine in the forecast here as we go throughout the day tomorrow. So let's look at the big picture now and show you what's headed our way. Now it looks like once we get rid of these clouds, we will see a fair amount of sunshine. But just upstream, we're tracking our next storm system. This is the one that will arrive on Wednesday. And before it does, it's going to produce a significant threat for severe weather to our friends just off towards the south and west. This area of red here is a moderate risk, a level four or five of severe storms, possibility of potentially some strong to violent tornadoes across parts of Louisiana, Mississippi, and into Arkansas here for tomorrow afternoon. Perhaps if you have travel plans out west, really from Nashville to Memphis, out towards Little Rock, Shreveport, Monroe, Louisiana, Jackson, Mississippi, all under the threat potentially for some significant severe weather tomorrow. Now, this will shift east on Wednesday. I don't think we're going to see severe weather here, but it's not out of the question that we could get a couple of these showers of storms perhaps on Wednesday producing some gusty winds, especially just off to our west. So you can see high pressure slides off away from the area. We're going to be tracking the next storm system that'll be really getting itself organized off to our west. You can see all the big storms developing down towards parts of the lower Mississippi Valley. But the leading edge of the rain here moving through the Ohio Valley by tomorrow night, clouds will rapidly increase overnight. Tuesday and by Wednesday morning, just like what we saw with Saturday night into Sunday morning just a couple of days ago, you go from sunny to mostly cloudy and rain the next day, and that's what we're going to have on Wednesday. Wednesday looks like a wet day, and we're going to watch this little thin line of storms here out in far western Maryland that may try to sneak in later on in the evening that could produce a threat for some gusty winds. Right now, we do not have a severe weather threat for our area, but we'll keep you updated on that if that happens to change. Tomorrow's high is right around 50. Sunshine in the morning, clouds increasing. As the evening goes on. And again, Wednesday looks wet. 62 the high temperature for Wednesday with showers and perhaps maybe an isolated storm or two. And then it looks like we're back into the sunshine, cooler weather Thursday, Friday. More rain, though, in the forecast for Saturday into Sunday. Back over to you.